Hi, I'm Roy. I've been a technician for Bosch for 31 years. And in that 31 years, I've learned quite a bit about the power tool industry, especially about the Bosch product, which I find is a more superior unit. You know, I've come over to Dustram LLC about two years ago. And in that time frame, we've developed this collar for these, that'll fit on these particular grinders. We've chosen these two particular Bosch grinders because of their, you know, size, their power, and their, you know, their durability. This is the GS, uh, GWS13-50VSP, which stands for paddle grip. They're both variable speed. This is a slide grip, slide on version here, that, which will slide and lock on. And then you have the variable speed adjuster in the back, which is this knob. And what we'll show you today is how to install this collar, which will also allow you to install the edge ram with the rim ram on this unit. So then at that time you can get under your cabinet toe kicks, your built-in refrigerators, your dishwashers. Also you can get into those tight areas underneath the dishwashers and the refrigerators. You can also get into your very tight areas inside the pantries. So that will uh, enable you to do all that. So to install this onto a brand new unit, you'll need to remove this lever here. This lever here locks on the original guard for the Bosch grinder. That takes a T20, so you'll take and remove this screw here. And once the screw is out, And this lever will come out of here very gracefully or not. You can place that aside. With your kit, you'll have a replacement screw which you need to reinstall into this area. Always remember to back thread it. And how you do that, you see how it's just dropped in. You can feel it drop back into the original threads. You'll tighten it up. And there she is tight. Okay, when you receive your collar, you'll notice that there's a short side and then there's a taller side. The short side goes down onto the unit such as that. What you want to do is you'll install this blue Permatex Loctite onto the screws, approximately three quarters of the length of the screw out here. And then you'll take your eighth inch T-handle, provided you've got one, and you'll tighten these screws up just ever so slightly until you feel them touch. And then you'll go to the other side. You want to do these screws opposite each other. Just so you feel them touch. back and tighten them up just a little bit more. You just want to snug them. Okay. So as you're, when you're done getting them all snug, you can take a nice rag and wipe around the inner. Get that all nice and cleaned up for yourself.
All right then. You'll want to line up your half moon right here. Center this as best you can. Bring this around to this side to the seven o'clock position. This will come around counterclockwise and finish up at the five o'clock position. And you'll take your clamp and you'll want you have your nut over here for adjustment. You'll slide this on. And what you'll do is you'll slide this all the way down to the bottom. And then you'll tighten it up just enough to secure it in place. And that should be enough. So place your grinder close to the edge so that the tube can extend down past. You'll flip it over. You'll put it in position. You don't worry about your skirt. Your skirt is not adjusted correctly now, so it will touch on your paddle switch. So you take your screws, put them in. Always finger, screw them in as far as you can with your fingers, that way you know you have your threads, that it's going in the, the threads correctly. That's a nylon collar and you don't want to cross thread it at all because that will pretty much damage it. So you'll want to leave about a sixteenth of an inch gap in between the, the washer and the, the housing here. You make that even on both of those, make sure that gap is even so that'll get you a good centering point to start your adjustment. And then you'll take your screws and you'll tighten them down just till you feel the lock washer compress. There we go. That one's down. You got the same thing like that. Okay, once you get them down, you just want to give them a little bit more of a snug turn. You'll feel the pressure. Just that little bit more to help lock them in place. You see, you can notice I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it, but enough that it's going to secure it. And then you'll take your wheel, you'll install it. And you only have to lock tight it. You only have to tighten it with your hand. You don't have to do anything. Once it starts up, it's going to tighten itself. But you do want to snug it enough with your hand so it doesn't do a quick lock on because that could lock it on pretty tight. So you want to use this as a stabilizer for your elevation. So what you want to do is you'll place this. You notice this lip right here. You want to have that just in front of that. So what we're going to do is we'll flip it over onto its face. And then we'll slide this under into that position. And that helps keep this pretty much balanced. It has the right elevation so it's sitting flush like we want it to. Okay, we'll back our screw off here. Okay, so then we can lift this clamp up over the top. So now we'll move our shroud down in position, making it flush all the way around. Okay. Now that she's flush, good, good, good. We'll slide our clamp over. Okay, and this clamp, you want it to about 3 8 inch off the bottom. And as you tighten it up, you want to make sure you keep an eye on it because it could slip up or down. And we'll just keep it in the right position at about 3 8 Tighten her up. And as we tighten, we keep an eye on it, make sure she's not climbing up or down. She's looking good all the way around. Okay. And as she gets all the way tight, she'll come flush against this here. And that's when you know you've got it where you need it. Once you've done that, you can flip it over. And you want to notice that it has the 
proper adjustment all the way around here. It's about three eighths of an inch. And then you look at this front edge, you'll notice if you just eyeball it, that this, this here is absolutely flush with this surface right here. That's the, uh, that's the goal.